In this video, I'm going to make a button that lets us run faster. So when we hold shift, we'll sprint. I'm also going to show an, an energy bar, a stamina bar on the bottom of the screen. And this is, a, I already did a sprinting video, but this one will have the stamina bar and I'm going to go faster and it's going to be better and more, more complex, I guess. So we'll have a look at that first sprint video if you haven't yet. So first, uh, I'm going to change my forward speed to just three to kind of make it more obvious when I run that it's slow. This is walking. So go into Assets, Scripts, right click, Create, C Sharp Script. I'm going to call mine uh, Sprint Sprinter and open that up. So we need to keep track of a few things. There's going to be how much stamina we have left. We'll start at five seconds. Uh, max stamina will be five as well. We need walk speed and run speed. We also need a character motor to change our actual speed and a boolean of to keep track of whether we're running or not. So when we start, we need to get the uh, character motor. Eh. Oh, it is that actually. And we can do this because the script will be attached to this player. So we can just say game object to get character motor, character controller, whatever. Game object is what it's attached to, and we're going to get that CM so we can change CM.movement stuff later. So we also need to get walk speed. We're going to set this to CM, the max forward speed. Uh, run speed is going to be walk speed times 4. First we'll make a function that changes our speed, so set running. Is running. First we need to do this. The reason there's this and not this is this variable here is different from this variable. This one is what we just gave this function. Is running only happens in here. This dot is running is the the one up here for the whole everything can talk about is running like that. So to distinguish the two, that's just what you gotta do. The, o the other thing we gotta do is set movement to and I'll explain what this is. This is maybe a new thing for you. If we're running, no, run speed, walk speed. So this is like a, oh, max forward speed is that. So this is like a, an if. We're saying if it's running, set it to this to run speed. If not running, set it to walk speed. It's just a quick way to write that sort of thing. If this, set it to that. If not that, set it to that. So now we have set running that we can use. Now in update, we're going to check get key down. Did we just press left shift? If so, set running to true. If we just let go get key up of left shift, set it to false. So that's going to work pretty well, but we also want to subtract stamina. So if is running, then stamina will decrease by the time. And if we run out of stamina, if it's less than zero, then we'll just set stamina to zero and set running to false. And now here, this bracket belongs to this one up here, this if is running. We're going to do an else if stamina is less than max stamina, then we're going to increase our stamina. So the way this works is it'll see if we're running. If we're not, it'll come here. So we're not running, and then it'll check if stamina is less than our maximum stamina, the cap, because it needs to stop refilling. So if it hasn't filled up completely, then fill it up a little more. So we'll have a look at that. 
Oh, I think I need to attach it actually to the player. Sprinter it was already. Okay, so we're slow and I hold shift and we speed up. That's good. Now I just want to show the how much stamina we have on the bottom of the screen. To draw this, we're going to need a rect rectangle that shows the well stamina rectangle. That's where to draw it. We also need a texture, which is what it looks like. So we're going to need to set these stamina at the start just once. The left position is the first number. That's the distance from the left side of the screen. I'm going to take the screen width divided by 10. The top is the distance from the top of the screen. So I'm going to take the screen height and times 10 over times 9 over 10. The third number is the width, which I'll just make well actually it won't really matter and the because we're going to set the width later the fourth number is the the height of the bar which is I'll make 1 50th the height of the screen we also need that stamina texture oh uh, up here it's actually a texture 2d yeah it's another thing texture 2d I'm just going to make it a one by one you could later make any picture you want I'm just going to do a flat color and I'm just going to set the only pixel to uh, white so I don't have to find a picture and actually one thing I forgot the first time I shot this video I didn't there we go apply I didn't notice because it was white and by default it's white and you need to apply so if I picked another color it wouldn't have worked now at the bottom, we're just going to add like before on GUI. And now we need to draw the area that we want to be white. We need a percent ratio of how much is our stamina is filled or not filled. So that'll be stamina over stamina max. So if stamina is 2, and this is 5, it'll be 2 over 5. It'll be a fraction of, of 1. And we're going to use that to calculate the width of the texture. Uh, rect width equals at full, when it's full, I want it to be 1 third of the screen width. So I'll do ratio times that. And now we need to do stamina rect dot width equals rect width. Now we just need to draw it, draw texture, stamina rect is where to draw it, and then the texture, of course, stamina texture. And we save it, and we'll have a look. Hey, there's that white bar on the bottom, and when I sprint, it goes. And when I sprint a long time, it runs out, I stop running, and there you go. There's a sprint bar in sprinting.